Hello, my friend. Welcome to the channel and thank you for watching. Enzo Fernandez to Chelsea Football Club is a matter of hours. It's not if anymore, it's when. Okay? Many reports from Argentina and Portugal are confirming pretty much the same thing. Enzo want to come to Chelsea. Chelsea already agreed a proposal with him in terms of salary and everything. Now the structure of the deal between Chelsea and Benfica is the one that taking a little bit of time but Benfica understand that there is no way they can keep this guy anymore when he's not happy and he's determined to join the best club in London, Chelsea Football Club. So expect something really to happen in the next hours. I'll be sleeping by that time and you might know even more news when I wake up in the morning. Uh, I might see already uh, here we go from Mr. Fabrizio Romano. So this source here, Pedro, he's a very good journalist, close to everything South America and Portugal. So he said here that Benfica received today an official offer from Chelsea Football Club, 127 million euros. Uh, a similar to Joao Felix, Ruiz Costa tried to convince Enzo to stay, but the player wanted to sign for Chelsea Football Club. Enzo will sign a contract until June 2028, as reported by Fabrizio Romano. So, man, finally, finally, we're getting somebody who can create, who can do something, who can fight for, for himself first and then fight for the entire team who can put some through balls, can assist, can shoot from distance and not complain about other people not helping him. So, fingers crossed, we got this over the line uh, in the next hours because I hate the last minute FC, you know. Last minute don't come where Chelsea used to wait and wait until the transfer deadline. You wasted already one month. It's not good. You have to get the players as soon as possible so they can start training. And then you have a chance to use them by the end of January and you get something until the rest of the season. So if we check here on Mr. Fabrizio Romano, Romano being a little bit cautious to say things, but he is just... Um, uh, talking about new new contact on Tuesday and Wednesday between Chelsea and Benfica to try to close Enzo Fernandez deal. It's crucial week as reported earlier. Yeah, very very crucial, and I I I have a very be, uh, very good excuse me feeling about this deal is about to get done. So, talking about uh, transfer to Chelsea. You all know that uh, Mr. Here We Go, Fabrizio Romano, already said a here we go when it comes to this brother here from Monaco, Benoit Badiashil. Chelsea and AS Monaco have now all the documents in place for Badiashil deal. Man, part of medical done. It's sealed. Medical done in London on Monday. And uh, nothing you can do about it, my friend. But Yashil is a blue and he's going to help us. A long-term contract also, like 2028 or something. We are giving them like six, seven years so we don't struggle with negotiating again. So, yeah, I love, uh, I love the project. I love the vision. Now, uh, the people that will carry on with the vision, still questionable, you know, Grand Pora, is he able to to tell this uh, world champion like uh, Enzo Fernandez what to do? Is does he got the authority to to command the dressing room and tell them what to do and and get angry in the dressing room and tell I wanna see something? 
you have to give me some energy that is another question but there is a big difference between trusting the project and trusting people he needs to prove me first by doing the right things even if we lose but he's trying new things i would say yeah keep going and i will support him so that is another another topic for another day and to finish this video we're gonna talk about this brother here rafael liao ac milan have improved their proposal to rafael liao hoping to get new deal done in the next week seven million so they were offering him five million and then six million now is seven million salary net per season on the table Milan will also focus on Benasse and Giroud new deals. That is another topic. But we're going to give Enzo Fernandez 8 million to 10 million in that region salary at Chelsea. I don't know why Chelsea are not doing the right thing because I really like Leao. Don't get me wrong. Okay. We have Kalim Hasnado. We have Christian Pulisic. The manager don't trust them. They don't they literally don't play so we're gonna have to get rid of some players okay sell them get the found and get leao because he looks like a very good prospect that can take us to the next level so my question here my friend is what if chelsea football club okay because of the financial fair play we can't really spend 120 million on enzo 100 million on leao 70 million on declan rice if you are given a chance to take two quality here and leave one leao rice and enzo fernandez what are you gonna do and don't get me wrong because people are gonna twist your word and say oh you are a hater and why you hate Enzo Fernandez and blah blah. Listen, I'm trying to make a point here and you have to read between the lines. If I have to choose two quality against one quality, I will choose, I will go for quantity and quality instead of quality only. Why? We see what is happening with Rhys James. One injury, the team is dead. But if you got Rafael Liao and Declan Rice, both in the region of 100, uh, 150 to, to 180 million, both of them, and you have to take only one, one player in the midfield, Enzo Fernandez, for 130 million. Brother, my choice is clear. I'm going to take two instead of one. It doesn't mean that I don't want Enzo to come to Chelsea. It's not my money at the end of the day, but we're going to be limited by the financial fair play. So, let me know in the comment section down below what will be your choice. Take Enzo only and abandon other quality bowlers or sign two quality and quantity bowlers instead of one. Let's keep the conversation going. God bless you. Think outside the box and see you next time.